Hi everyone, today we are going to make a bracelet, one like this, from Johnny Smith's collection. We are going to need 125 pieces of round paper beads, 150 pieces of silver beads, and 48 pieces of small beads of any kind, so long as it's very small. We would need as well an elastic band. I am using 0.6 and a cutter. This single ladder bracelet has 25 pieces of paper beads and this size fits just right to an average sized wrist. So if you want a bigger or smaller size, just adjust the number of your beads. If you want it bigger, you can make 27, 26, or 28. If you want it smaller, you can adjust the beads to 23. But for 25 pieces, this would fit just to an average wrist like mine there you are the goal is to make five rows of like this this is one two three four five we have to make five rows so to start you simply insert your string your elastic band insert one paper bead to your string then holding your elastic band see this is elastic Holding your elastic band in this manner, there you are, in this manner, you insert the silver bead. and then pull it down so it would look like this then you get the one paper bead you insert from one side you insert the string and then to the other side in opposite direction you insert the other string so it would look like this then pull it So it would look like that. Then you will insert the silver. One and to the other string. You insert the silver, two, so it would now look like this. Then, 
the paper bead. So always put in mind the silver, two silvers, then one paper bead, then two silver bead, then one paper bead, then two silver beads, then one paper bead. Every time you would use a paper bead, put in mind always that there has to be two strings to the paper bead like this in opposite direction. Pull it. So it would now look like this. The goal is to make 25 bladders of paper beads like this. Counting this, this will be now 25. From one end, it would look like that. And then to the bottom, it would look like this. You simply tie together the string by inserting to the other end of the paper bead so that they will join together you tie it three times I tie it three times so that this will be well secured that's one two three this in itself is a bracelet already see This is a bracelet already. But we have to continue doing this until we would reach five rows. The goal is to make five rows. That's one, two, three, four, five. So by doing that, that's already tied together, we have two strings, you see? One of the strings, this one, you simply insert that to your silver bead. And the other string, this one, that is not inserted to your silver bead, you add a paper bead and a silver bead and a paper bead then always once there is a paper bead you have to put two strings on both sides in a opposite direction so that they would now look like this then You insert the string to your already attached silver bead and then you will put a silver bead and a paper bead so because the, this is a paper bead we have to remember we have to insert two strings 
to the paper bead. One on one side and in opposite direction, you insert another string so that they would look like this. Pull it. Then, on this side, the string, insert that to the already attached silver bead, pull it, so they now look like that. Then, you add the silver bead. and a paper bead so because this is now a paper bead that I am inserting so I have to insert two strings one from each direction Pull it. So as you can see, I now have two rows. One row, second row. The goal is to reach five rows. You continue doing that until you would reach five rows, like this one. So I now have here five rows but you will notice that there is a vacant space what we will do now is we will fill that up with our small bead so that there would be no vacant space and they look better and then insert your string Insert your string to your silver bead, then another bead, and then insert that to your silver bead. So you see there is no vacant space but this one here it's unfinished there is a vacant space you just continue doing that filling out the vacant spaces then you will have this is the finished product you will have a beautiful bracelet like this one from Johnny's May Happy viewing, everyone.